Sup guys, let's do this. <laughs> What's up you guys, started back again with another reaction and this time we have the top secret drum corps at the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo 2015. I'm, I'm uh, not entirely sure what this is but drum corps is like, uh, well, I guess they have like a tight drum line basically uh, and they hit snare drums that's kind of what i know about that and the what else do i know about that also that we used to have these uh, drum corps where i grew up a little city here in sweden and they were quite famous actually i don't remember their name but i remember that they were really good and i am always impressed by drummers even though i knew one of the guys he was a drummer obviously as well but he sucks he sucked as a drummer Completely, it was totally, totally weak. But he was really good in the drum line, together with the other guys playing the snare, which was kind of surprising. Uh, so I guess the coordination to play the drums, feet and hands, isn't the same as just playing the snare. Anyway, I want to hear a tight drum line. This is supposed to be really good. And uh, yeah, let's see what they come up with. By the way, suggested by there we go, we have that out of the way as well. Let's just do this. Pop! Parade, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So these guys are Swiss. Wow. There's actually one drumstick rolling away there, you can see it. Other, besides that, it's flawless. The drum line is really intact. It sounds really good. And the BPM is strong. They're really keeping it there. There you can see another uh, drumstick. Uh. It's 
sounds like when you're flaming like the the snare, if you hit if you hit um, like if you take two drumsticks and hit the snare at the same time, then you get like the. It sounds awesome. It sounds like they're playing like that all the time. One hit sounds like two hits, very 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 uh, loosely apart. It gives an, an effect that is really cool, I think. I'm, most, I'm more curious to who is keeping the BPM. Is it the, the bass drum guys or who is, who is doing that? Would be interesting to know. What? Nah. Oh, it's hollow. The drumstick was hollow. Okay, some acting there. Yeah, these guys are fucking groovy. Impressive. Impressive. Thoughts. Yeah, guys. Yeah, that was a tight drum line. Um, very, uh, very impressive stuff, you know. Because, I mean, this is very different from just playing the drums, like re like regular drums. Uh, I've been playing the drums for many years, and I, I I don't think I would be able to do this. I mean, to some to some extent, I, I I think I could, just playing the snares. But the coordination you have with your other um, fellow snare players or whatever within that drum line, it's uh, a lot of practice. A lot of practice. I mean, the things they did with the the, the drumsticks um, wasn't really. That um, I don't want to sound like I wasn't impressed because I was, but it's really not that difficult. The thing that it's, it's difficult is to make it sound like a unit, and they did that perfectly. The one keeping the the BPM, somebody has to have like a like a earpiece with the with the with the BPM. Some of the bass guys because it was on point throughout the whole uh, uh, performance. It sounded fucking awesome. Uh, so I don't know, man. Pretty cool stuff. Nobody really broke the line. Everything was on point, I think. They dropped like a drumstick at some point, but that's nothing. Uh, I don't really have any complaints at all. Uh, did you know? Did you know that their drumsticks were hollow? No, that's kind of weird. They had like they were hollow and they could play the flute, or some guys did anyway. Uh, this is pretty cool stuff. I 
I'm not a fan of uh, this type of, uh, I guess, parading, the parade and the drill corp, drum corps and that stuff. It's not for me at all. But still, I'm very impressed with these guys. They really know what the fuck they're doing. Uh, and not only the guys playing the snare, I'm talking about the guys holding the beat as well. Uh, I think I saw like two or three different different uh, sized toms or basses or whatever they want to call I don't know what they call them. Uh, they were really impressive as well. They really kept it on point the whole time. Uh, one thing that always surprised me with the snares is how fucking deep they are. And considering the fact that they're so deep, they still sound like a piccolo snare, which is kind of weird. You know, it contradicts the whole being uh, deep contra being because if you, if you don't know what a piccolo snare is, the piccolo snare is uh, it's like this deep, something like that, and it sounds very high pitch. You know, these guys snares are like this deep, and they sound very high pitch. So uh, the tuning has to be. They have, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what type of uh, skins they play. Uh, I'm guessing it has to be some type of special, special. I, I don't think it's regular uh, snare, coded or not coded. I don't, I don't even know. But anyway, uh, very is interesting uh, suggestion. So thank you for that. Uh, if anybody knows anything more about this guy, just leave a comment down below. Let me know. Uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate it if you like it, subscribe if you haven't, and yeah guys, uh, take care and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.